In Act One, Robbie is thinking about Alexandra and their friendship. She's a terrific person. I'm going to miss her when she goes back to Greece. Ellen suggests having a special party for Alexandra. Would you like to give her a little farewell party? Mom, that would be terrific. <laughs> Maybe we could make it a surprise. And Robbie would like to buy Alexandra a gift. I'd like to give her a nice going away present. Fine. There's only one problem. What's that? What's the problem? school early yeah they're getting the assembly hall ready for graduation ceremony so we all got to go home early too noisy to study well now that you're here you can help me with dinner i need those potatoes uh peeled and sliced mom give me a break alexandra's coming over to help me study for my math final well well in that case you can wash the dishes and clean up after dinner can i invite alexandra to stay for dinner of course. Thanks, Mom. You and Alexandra have become good friends, haven't you? Yes, I like her. She's a terrific person. I'm going to miss her when she goes back to Greece. Would you like to give her a little farewell party? Mom, that would be terrific. <laughs> Maybe we could make it a surprise. Oh, I, I don't know. Surprise parties don't always work out. Well, we could tell her it's a graduation party for me. When Alexandra arrives, we'll surprise her. Well, I suppose that might work. I'd like to give her a nice going away present. <laughs> Fine. There's only one problem. What's that? I'm broke. <laughs> I should have saved some money. I'm sure Alexandra would be happy with something simple, Robbie. I know. But, well, I'd like to give her something nice to remember me by. Maybe I could borrow some money from you and Dad. Well, it's all right with me if it's all right with your dad. Thanks, Mom. I'll talk to him. Is he still in his office? I think so. Thanks, Mom. Hmm. Robbie, good luck. Here are the x-rays you wanted, Dr. Stewart. Oh, thank you, Wally. Now, yeah, let me check them. What do you think? Well, I don't see any breaks or fractures. Well, well, thank you, Molly. Good, thank you. Come in. Hi, son. Hi, Dad. Am I interrupting you? No, 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 no. Uh, what's up? Can we talk? Sure. I need some help. Well, that's what fathers are for. Well, before I go to college, I have the whole summer. Yes? And I'm planning to get a job for the summer. And what sort of job? I applied for a job as a lifeguard at the community pool. Sounds pretty good. Yes. I'll be earning pretty good money if I get it. But right now, I'm kind of short of cash. <laughs> Who 
is it? And uh, my friend Alexander is going back to Greece. Nice girl. Uh, we'll all miss her. Mom says we can give her a going away surprise party. Good idea. And I'd like to get her a nice gift. What'd you have in mind? Well, a wristwatch. So she'll think of me when she looks at the time. Nothing flashy or expensive. Something simple, but a good one. Sounds fine, Robbie. Well, I saw a nice watch, but I'll need a loan. If you could lend me the money, I could pay you back out of my lifeguard salary. Well, uh, I guess your mother and I can manage it. Uh, when do you need the money? Would tomorrow be okay? You've got it. Thanks, Dad. My pleasure, son. Oh, and Robbie. Yes? You'll probably want the family car so you can drive her home after the party. Could I? If you drive carefully. I will. Thanks, Dad. My pleasure. You're okay, Dad. You're not so bad yourself, son. I'd like to give her a nice going away present. Robbie wants to buy a gift for Alexandra. But he doesn't have enough money. I should have saved some money. He should have saved some money. He should have saved some money. But he didn't do it. He should have put some money in the bank. He should have put some money in the bank. But he didn't do it. Too bad. He didn't do it. Alexander's coming over to help me study for my math final. Robbie's got to take a test in math, but it's hard for him. He's gonna study today. But he didn't study yesterday. He should have studied yesterday. He should have studied yesterday. But he didn't do it. He should have looked in the book. He should have looked in the book. But he didn't do it. Too bad. He didn't do it. You and Alexandra have become good friends, haven't you? Yes, I like her. She's a terrific person. I'm going to miss her when she goes back to Greece. Robbie never told her that he would miss her when she goes back home. Do you think she knows how he feels? He never told her before. He should have told her. He should have told her. But he didn't do it. He should have said, I'll miss you. He should have said, I'll miss you. But he didn't do it. Too bad he didn't do it. Robbie, you forgot to put the milk back into the refrigerator. He shouldn't have left the milk out. He shouldn't have left the milk out. But he did it. He did it. He should have saved some money. He should have studied yesterday. He should have told her. But he didn't do it. And he shouldn't have left the milk out. 